Hey everyone and welcome back. From the Casino Heist DLC we got a new weapon that was added into the game and it was locked behind the treasure hunt or a side quest you can say. And this is just like the Red Dead Redemption 2 challenges which we had got earlier. The two treasure hunts for the revolver and the axe. So this is just similar to that and it's also comparatively easy. The information for this was also shared from Rockstar's side. So in this video I'll be showing you all how you can get that antique navy revolver and $275,000 in just a short amount of time completing all those treasure hunt clues and all. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with the video. First up there are 5 locations and you need to go to all 5 locations to get those clues. The first and foremost one is this location which is a farm. So when you go to that location you can hear some of those uh, weird noises that come from these uh, treasure hunts. So that's an indication that you have reached the location. And here you can see there's a marking on the wall. So that is the first clue. And the second location for the next clue is near the Sandy Shores uh, runway strip. And it's uh, somewhat of a garbage dump kind of an area. So, so right next to the airstrip we have uh, somewhat of a garbage dump area. And here you can see that there's a severe hand of some person. So that is the second clue location. The third location is another farm in the grapeseed area. The location is the barn kind of an area and it is right outside and here is the and here is the third clue. Just like I said right when you reach these locations you can hear the weird noises. So that is an indication that you are close to this uh, clue location. And yes, every time you complete these uh, clues, you get $5,000 and a certain amount of RP as well. So that's a good uh, bonus compared to those older uh, challenges. The older challenges, we wouldn't get any money, but this time we are getting, you know, $5,000. So $5,000 for every clues we complete. There are about five clues, so that's uh, $25,000. So that's a good thing. And the fourth clue is at the top of the map near the Palito Bay. There's an... There's a hotel or a restaurant I think and behind that there's a small uh, room kind of thing with a door. There's a marking of a palm you know, in our blood. So that's the fourth clue. And the final location, well there are actually five possible locations which I'm gonna be showing it to you all. All five of the locations are pretty nearer so you can check out either of them and you'll be getting to the fifth clue. The first one is near the Mount Gordo right next to the railway line. And when you reach the location, there will be a black colored van with its uh, rear doors open. So that's the fifth clue. And the second location is near this uh, San Chiansky mountain range, where you know the railway tracks go underneath the highways. So the location is right next to that railway track below the highway. As usual, a black van will be parked there. And the third location is right down below near the Palmer Taylor power station. Here too, there is a railway track going across and right next to that there will be a black van right around that area so that is the third location then the fourth location is near the fort zancudo where you can see somewhat like an island kind of an area here too there will be a black colored van with the doors open so that is a fourth location the fifth and final location is near the rattan canyon at the tip of that uh, mountain next to that uh, river or something so that is the location we'll be finding the van and those are the five possible locations guys and for me the fifth location was very much near so I decided to go to that location and as you can see when I came to that location there was a black colored van with the rear doors open and you know it was uh, filled with garbage bags and the blood all over the floor so that is the fifth and the final clue and as usual you get the uh, five thousand dollars paid for that so after you complete the five clues you get a message from an unknown number that is the message from that uh, slasher which you need to take out. The best location to find the slasher is the Grand Sonora Desert Airstrip. This is the best place where you can you know get the slasher in the open. The timings for that is from 7 pm to 5 am in the morning. So right when the timer hits uh, 7 pm you can get on going to that location and look out for the slasher to take him out. And a side note here, when you reach the location, don't keep walking like me, you know, I didn't quite know it. So I was going around walking, but you need to stop. The moment you stop, the slasher spawns. As you can see, I was walking for quite a long time and the moment I stopped, the slasher spawned right next to me, hitting me. 
and guys don't get killed if you get killed he'll be coming after you and mugging you a lot of times so keep this in mind and you can take him out you know i was just having fun using the atomizer uh, i didn't want to kill him you know just for the sake of video you know fun times so the moment you kill him you get rewarded fifty thousand dollars and you get the antique navy revolver as well and the quest is just like the old times but there's a catch here you don't need to get any headshots or any of that just 50 kills and you'll be good to go you'll be getting rewarded two hundred thousand dollars for this so a total of two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars is the total reward that you'll be making out of this uh, treasure hunt or a side quest you can say so you know that's a good thing it took me just a little while and i completed it very quickly so that's a good amount of money for just a little bit of work and a pro tip here use the armored kuruma to you know complete the 50 kills it makes it very easier and you know to evade the cops that are continuously shooting at you so use the kuruma to get it done all right everyone that's it for this video those are all the five clues and also the best way to kill the slasher and get the old antique navy gun so do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you all and have a good day